friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Um, so this week we're doing what are weird or bad things you did as a kid. Um, and that was requested because we one time joked about how Drew used to Drew wasn't a bad kid. She just I wasn't at all. Yeah. She was just I was a Virgo. I was <laughs> I got in trouble, but it wasn't because I was bad. It was because Oh shit. It wasn't because I was bad, it was because I was a know it all. Different. A Virgo. Different strokes for different <laughs> folks. I was a great student though. I always listened. Yeah, but we were both really well behaved. Yeah. As children, yeah. We were like we were those siblings that if you had us over, your mom would brag or your mom would tell my mom how much she loved having us over. And then she would tell you, why don't you act like that? I don't know about that part. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. But we were very well behaved children. And because we were so close in age, we would do literally everything together. So yeah. if Drew went to a sleepover, I would go to the sleepover. If yeah. I went to one, Drew came to one. Yeah, exactly. Person, so. Yeah. Irish twins. Truly. Uh, so I wasn't a bad kid. I just like had a lot of opinions <laughs> as a child, which I'm sure you can guess tracks. <laughs> Until today. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. And Dason was kind of just there. So Ow. she was just vibing. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm saying in the scheme of me getting in trouble, oh, Dason yeah, was yeah, just yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> like No, my biggest fear is people being mad at me. So I was really good at I don't really that. it's funny because I only care if the people I love the most are mad at me. <laughs> so we weren't bad kids. We've already covered that. Yeah. Not at all. No. No. We just, you know. Had our own unique problems, you and I. Yeah. Can you think of anything bad you did when you were little? Not intentionally. Like, or like weird. Like most of these are weird, if I'm being honest, which is funny. Like weird, describe weird. Like like you, a weird like behavior you used to have or like things you used to like. What do you mean? Do you, like So like this one, I, I think this is from Morgan from Two Hot Takes. I saw her. It's either her or Justin. Yeah. But she wrote, I ate sticks of butter and napkins sometimes. Like stuff like that. A lot of them are like that. I think we were different kids. I wasn't eating a fucking napkin. Morgan. Morgan. Or, or Justin. We don't know who it was, but I'm guessing My money's Morgan. on Morgan. Morgan. What are we doing? We have a lot to talk about, girly, the next time we, we see Am each I other. the asshole for eating sticks of butter? <laughs> Am I the asshole for eating napkins as a child? <gasps> Are you okay now? I was going to say something comparable to that that we did one time. Remember when mommy had that lips, that lip gloss that we used to like to eat? Oh, yeah. And she caught us eating it and then we weren't allowed to, we, she threw it away. Yeah, we'd literally dip it in there and then suck. Like, literally lick it like an ice cream cone and then pass it to each other. I wish I remembered what brand it was, dude. That shit was good. My guess is it's no longer around. <laughs> but there's a lot of funny ones in here. We didn't do anything bad, just weird, because kids are weird. Yeah, no, I never did bad shit as a kid. No. I mean, I'm trying to think. I don't think I did. I mean, I think I... I broke your collarbone one time. Yeah, but that wasn't intentional. It was yeah. an accident. She didn't break my collarbone. She was spinning me in a chair and I flew out of it and broke my collarbone. So she didn't break it. But I told her I was spinning her too fast and she said it was fine. Yeah. I kept telling her faster, faster. She's like, I have it under control. Yeah. I was like, don't worry about it. We're fine. And we were not fine. We we're not fine. No, we were not. Okay. You ready to jump into these? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm reading the ones off the Instagram first because they're so funny. Okay. So we did Morgan, obviously, right? Or mm-hmm. someone from Two Hot Takes. Who knows who it was? Yeah. So this first one's from Chloe, and she said that she used to drink. Sorry. This first one's from Chloe, and they said that they drink an entire bottle of cough medicine just because they liked the taste. <laughs> a lot of those in here. And that was the inventor of lean. <laughs> what are you on about, crazy? She's like, but me, I love Robitussin. I can't get enough of it. Yeah, the fact that it's cough medicine, too. too? It's not even like a Flintstone gummy, like something you know that I tastes good. what I love was amoxicillin. I loved amoxicillin in the third grade in the third grade we did like cloudy with a chance of meatballs and so we all had to write our own story about what we wished would rain and stuff and i asked my teacher how to spell amoxicillin that's not true i swear to god dason just lied on camera i swear i literally just lied why would i lie about that i remember that no anyway what's something weird you liked in your little to eat Nothing, honestly. I think the weirdest thing about me was that I was extremely picky as a child. Oh, yeah. Like, I hated 
any sort of vegetable on my food. Like I hated dressings of any kind. Yeah. Like dips or yeah. yeah I hated um, except for ketchup. I liked cheese, but not in anything, just cheese by itself. I didn't like cheese on my burgers. I didn't like che- grilled cheese. I didn't like anything. The only condiment I would eat would be ketchup. That was yeah. It. Like I was a big ketchup bitch for a long time. So mm-hmm. I think that was the the weirdest part about that is me having the eating habits of like an 85 year old man. <laughs> like I ate everything so bland yeah, and plain. plain. Like that's that was probably the weirdest thing about me when it came to eating habits. Yeah. This one's from Ivy and they said, you know how bologna has that red string around it? Yeah, the little crust. Yeah, and they said, I for, I thought they were going to say they would peel off the crust first and eat it because I would do that when I'd eat bologna. Sure. But they said, I was obsessed with bologna and I would eat half of the slice and then carry it around with the red string like a purse. <laughs> <laughs> like you'd punch it out one side? It's just... Oh <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> Tell Bottega to run you your bag because they have those little circle Tell you. purses. <laughs> that you're the creative Tell Bottega it. that you want royalties yeah, immediately. Dude. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that that skin is not even that strong either. Like, How long would you carry it for? Did you leave a little meat on the top so that it had a little extra, you know what I'm saying? Grip. Grip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a better handle on it. Um, that's <laughs> that's fucking bizarre. And that's this one. I want to believe that's real. I really hope you're not lying. I don't think Ivy would lie about that. Yeah, I, I really fucking hope not, dude. <laughs> this next one's from Parosha. Mm-hmm. I'm also using gender neutral pronouns because these are all just submissions on here, so I don't know your pronouns. Mm-hmm. And they said I stabbed myself in the throat with a bike handle. <laughs> What? What? Okay. You stabbed yourself in I, the neck with a bike handle? Yeah, like maybe they flew, like they were on the bike and they flew forward and it like twisted. Handle? The grippy part? Did the grip come off? You know what I mean? <laughs> not you beheading yourself with a bike not handle? You, not you doing hereditary before hereditary became what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Again, tell them to run you your royalties. <laughs> What? Is there an elaboration on that? <laughs> this one's from Listen, I'm gonna need to see some pics. Pics or it didn't happen. <laughs> this one's from their Instagram name is Jam Sally. And they said, I used to wear a helmet and throw myself down the stairs. <laughs> that's what's bizarre is that's the that's the least the weird most, one we've heard most so normal far. One yeah, that's the weird part. And they put multiple times, like actually way too often. <laughs> <laughs> enough times that your parents are like she does this shit anyways just at least make her wear a helmet what if your parents were just like I can't stop her like she just like I can't stop them they literally won't stop like I, no matter what I do yeah or like I imagine your parents have people over and they're like yeah they do that sometimes <laughs> sorry like like you know when you visit someone's house and they're like sorry he jumps like about the dog yeah that's you but you're throwing yourself down Dude, the that stairs that one guy on on TikTok I don't know their name I think it's Elliot or whatever it's that white kid and um, he does you're gonna need to be a little more specific so he's like the friend who like came too late to the pregame because they're yes fine. yes yeah. yes the one that he does with the cat that tries to kill yes. you. Like so, Sona says that has a cat that's like actually really yeah. bad. He's all close the door, close the door, close the door. Thank God. Okay. And then it was like, I saw it sent you and that was like when you're cat sitting and he was all, when you're going to the bathroom, make sure you close the door. So you do not want to be trapped in there with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so God. So funny, dude. No, the way that like, I just picture your parents being like, yeah. And then it's like, dish, dish, dish. in the background, you're like, yeah, anyways, like they're just unfazed. They're like, what is she doing? They're like, if you're going to do this, at least wear a helmet. Can we compromise a little? Like maybe meet in the middle. Were they hardwood stairs or were they carpet stairs? <laughs> they're stone marble stairs. Yeah, they're like <laughs> stadium stairs. <laughs> so I love it. At the Coliseum. I was just going to say, I love going to the Coliseum and just, I love going to the Red Rock Amphitheater and just throwing myself <laughs> down the stairs. Not to bring back Harry Potter, the fourth one, but. We've been to, I've been to uh, the Coliseum several times Mm -hmm. for like college games and professional games and blah, blah, blah. 
And so I've sat in the, in the fucking nose bleeds right at, at the Coliseum. And every time I'm high up at the Coliseum, mm. I talk about how it feels like you're in Harry Potter when they go to the, the, Quidditch, World the Quidditch World Cup and they're like standing like mm-hmm. so close. They're going above the fucking clouds. Mm-hmm. That's how, and it then it, how it's curved. over. Yeah. You're yeah. like standing. So like people are beneath you instead of like in, in front, front of, of you. you. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, that's how that feels. <laughs> Not to bring back <laughs> the Goblet of Fire once again. No kidding. Yeah. This one's from Glenda and she said, one bad thing I would do as a kid is I would purposefully get lost when I would go to the store with my parents. <laughs> and one time they had to close down a Kmart, literally close the entire store because and not let anybody in because they couldn't find me. <laughs> Drew used to do that too. We What's go to your the sign? Store. <laughs> I'd like oh, to know. an Aquarius. Interesting. Virgo rising though. That's interesting. Well, no, we, that's not a Virgo thing. I wouldn't get lost on purpose. No, I know. I'm saying that bitch wants I'm, attention. I'm saying that's <laughs> interesting that she's a Virgo rising. No, no, no. I know. But you said, um, you said Drew used to do that. I know, but not because you're a Virgo. It's because she wanted to play and have fun. No, but she's saying I used to get lost on purpose. Yeah, like I know. they would have to I'm go find that Drew her. Drew would get lost on accident. Oh, well, that's not the same thing then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Run that back. Okay. This next one. Is from someone and they said that they used to eat roly polies and they also had a blanket made of yarn and through the years it frayed and they would stick the frayed ends up their nose. Listen, some of these, I think to myself, you're the problem. Like, I think sometimes I have, I think about things I used to do and I'm like, damn, am I a fucking weirdo? And you guys make me feel better about that. <laughs> Dude. Those, the fact that those are two polar opposite extremes, like, like weird extremes. Yeah. That's strange. I mean, the roly poly thing, I used to collect them. And put them in her pocket. Yeah. I used to put them in my pocket. My mom used to empty my pockets all the time when she would wash clothes and be like, Rocks Dude. and roly polies. Yeah. Yeah real hunter gatherer <laughs> cuz i'm a female um i never would eat them though i can't i can't join you on that journey this next one's from megan and she said my sister was trying to look out the window by climbing on top of the couch i was sitting on and i was having none of that for no particular reason so <laughs> i went to kick her off and i ended up kicking her hand and i broke her thumb <laughs> and then she also said i got grounded once when i was 11 and my dad was desperate to find something i cared about so he took all of my books away since i didn't care about anything else so i just read the dictionary that just makes you sound like a nerd what sign do you think she is what's her sign dictionary reader and then random rage i don't know maybe a virgo yeah <laughs> I knew it. And a Capricorn moon in rising. There you go. Dude. I asked, I've hurt you a couple of times on accident. Yeah. I have a scar on this wrist still like to this day. It's like right here. Um, it's raised and it's, it's literally super raised and like has lots of scar tissue. <laughs> That's literally from Dason scratching me uh, when we were fighting in the car. We were like hitting each other like fucking cats. You know, they like bat each other. And then like she literally reached over like this to like grab my hand and I like moved it really fast, like my wrist. And she like scraped, she scratched to the fucking bone, dude. Like (laughs) you could literally see my bone through my skin. And she was like, immediately we were in the car. And I remember I was like, I was bleeding like crazy. And she immediately was like, please don't tell mommy. (laughs) That's the first thing she said to me immediately and i couldn't hide that one dason's a narc i'm not all right she has been on narc since day one i'm the oldest if you're the oldest can you um, she is a narc can you acquiesce with me on this (laughs) but she uh immediately like i that one i couldn't not say she didn't hurt me because like i had a fucking open wound whoops from from the scratch but like it the way it diffused it immediately for her she was like (gasps) oh Please don't tell mommy. <laughs> oh, the story I was going to tell it was that one time we went to the beach and you made me bury you. And then I was mad because I didn't want to do it for whatever reason. I don't know what story you're and telling. And then I spit in the wind because I had sun in my sun, sand in my mouth. And then the spit got on your face because I spit it into the wind. And then I got in trouble. I genuinely don't remember that. I think she may have made that up too. Aaron. <laughs> no, I, I genuinely don't remember. I remember Donovan spitting on me. <laughs> that's a funny story tell them that story 
I don't know. I don't know why he got mad at me, but we like were at an Oregon football game. Yeah, we tailgating. were tailgating. Um, it was freezing fucking cold. Yeah. And I remember Donovan, Donovan to this day is it's hard for him to take a Raz yeah. to this fucking day. He it's hard for him to take a Raz. Like, I think it's just a, a youngest sibling thing, honestly, because like when you're older or in the middle or anywhere above, like you like get used to making fun of each other <laughs> or being made fun of. And like he was never made fun of because he's the baby. Yeah. Like never we made fun of him my mom would get mad. <laughs> my mom would tell us to, to be nice to him or whatever. Mm. Cause he's like the little prince of our family. So, um, basically like when he was, how old is he at the time? Like probably like nine. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. Probably, he might've been 10. I don't nine know. or 10. Like he was young. Um, he would get so fucking mad. He would get so mad about the silliest shit. Like we would say the silliest things and yeah. he would fucking lose his he mind. He still does sometimes. But yeah. He still does, but he is a little bit better at handling it now. But like when he was younger, um, it was a lot harder for him. <laughs> and I forget what we were doing, but we were making goofs. Like it was nothing serious. And we were joking around. And then I shit you not like he's sitting on the ground with my yeah. sister and I was standing and I was facing them. And like we were laughing right about I don't even remember what it was but I know it was at his expense because of how he reacted but he literally I shit you not he just goes and then he fucking spit on me he spit on my fucking leg bro like he hawked a fucking loogie on my leg and spit it at me with the intention of it getting on me and then he did that and he was like and then we were all like we meet, I was blown away. You know how like you, for some reason, spitting is just so much more disrespectful. I wonder and why like that slapping, is. Yeah. I wonder like where that came from, but it's still. The germs and stuff with them in just like the act of spitting on someone. No, I know. I'm just curious to know the origin of why that is so disrespectful. You know yeah. what I mean? But anyways, we immediately were like, like so shocked <laughs> because he was fucking young. Yeah. And I remember he got in trouble, but I remember my mom being like, where did you even fucking learn that? Like that you could spit on someone. And, and it's like, he was like, I don't know. Yeah. And he literally was like, after he did it like a fucking little dick, but yeah. so I don't even remember what the original thing was. I don't either, but it's just funny that Donovan spit on you. <laughs> Oh, when you said you spit into the wind. Oh, That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I read this one earlier, so I can't, I won't use their name. But they said whenever their parents would try to get them to do something, example, like go to school when they were getting bullied, mm. they used to go into their bathroom and drink nail polish, like straight from the bottle, like it was a shot. <laughs> Like, it's been a rough day. <laughs> Which is like, I grab their Sally just, in instant dry. <laughs> but just why that? Like, and then it, they just ended it with, I was seven. <laughs> just like, <laughs> why though? Like, what drew you to taking a shot of OPI? Like, after you get yelled at, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, a shot of SE. All women June. S S E <laughs> pink slipper or whatever that color is. Belly. <laughs> That's why I said Sally Hansen instant dry. <laughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> We're drinking the crackle nail polish. <laughs> I just think <laughs> I just think about the fact that like Growing up, my sister and I had a medicine cabinet, and when you open it, there'd be a whole row of nail polish because Jason liked to paint her nails when we were younger. And like, I just think of someone going, God, opening it and be like, <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, like, they're all, salute. Yeah. <laughs> like, another day in paradise. Oh my gosh, dude. That's so funny. That was a good I one. I just have so many questions. I hope you're doing okay now. Yeah, me too. Me too. This is from Alex, actually. French? French? Yeah. Oh, shit. So she said... Shout out, Alex. Yeah, she said, when I would sit in the passenger seat of a car, I would use the flip-down mirror, like the... Yeah. 
to sing to myself and pretend I was in a music video. <laughs> and it didn't matter who was in the car. I had no issue. <laughs> She said, my poor dad dealt with this for at least 60 minutes at a time when he would pick me up for the weekend. And he never said a word about it. We stand a supportive king. It's funny because you also did the same thing. I never looked at myself. No. Alex, that's a you thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole nother level. Um, no, I did, though, have a CD player. And I used to play for my birthday, actually, because I went through a real big grease phase when I was in like fifth grade, like when I was like yeah. 10. So my mom and my dad got me like the double feature four CD grease soundtrack. Like it had a bunch of extra <laughs> shit like on it. 20 year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, it was literally like it folded out like twice and it had like a hard <laughs> cover. You know what I'm saying? And the four CDs, oh. an A side and a b side and all that shit yeah so i had a cd player and i would play my song like i would play my cd on the way to school and mind you at the time like where we were living we were living kind of far from our school so oh, yeah. my dad would have to sit in traffic when you take us to For school at least like an hour or so. at least an hour going one way yeah so like every morning at like 5 a.m. right because like school starts at 7 45 for some reason yeah. and we had to leave super early drew's listening to i'm listening to vote. yeah like to summer nights and i would sing literally i would sing like there was no one there like i would sing like like i was talented like no one could hear me yeah and i would sing so loud and like just unabashedly like i didn't just didn't care at all mm -hmm. and i remember my dad would listen to that <laughs> always for like i'm not even kidding like almost a year like i went through that phase for a while and it's funny because my dad has a hyperfixation thing i think that's where we get it from where he plays the same songs over and over and over yeah. again until they're dead that's what i would do with like the first track the third track and the fifth track like i would literally play the same three songs and just <laughs> sing them all sing all the parts all the way through and i remember one morning the traffic was really bad and my dad was like drew drew Drew, like he was tapping on my on my leg and I took off my head and I was like, yeah. And he goes, I can't do it today, bud. <laughs> I can't do it today. He's like, <laughs> I'm going to need you to put the ranch away. Go ahead and log off for me. <laughs> he literally was like, he goes, can you just take it down? Like just a little, like just a little. Cause I would sing like with at the top of my fucking lungs <laughs> and they and everyone's gonna be like what was Jason doing and I was like just sitting there like she was just there she was always just there when I was doing shit like that <laughs> or like when she would our, listen to her own cd player she had her own get picked up from school they yeah. said ever since we, we were little little like coming out of kindergarten oh yeah all yeah, the yeah. way till I drove us home from high school <laughs> yeah. I would be the first one waiting to get picked up because I couldn't wait to go home <laughs> yeah and then I get in the car and her uncle would be like, where's your sister? And I, go, I don't know. And then you can see me, her walking slowly out of the school, talking to people, <laughs> drinking water. Around. Yeah. yeah. I had to go say hi to all my friends before I left. <laughs> and they would also say like, Jason would leave the house and look the exact same when she came back. And when I would leave the house, I looked like I got hit by a fucking car on the way home. <laughs> like my, I'm all sweaty. <laughs> My hair is all frizzy. Did you see that TikTok that you guys sent to you? It was like this lady was showing how her daughter looked when she dropped yeah. her off and she had a maxi dress on. And then when she picked her up, she had tucked the dress into her leggings. <laughs> I love seeing those videos when they're like, this is how I'm sending him to school. And then they show him when they come back. That was true. <laughs> I she got hit by a bus. Yeah, literally me. But Dayson was always ready to go home because she just hated being away from home. Yep. And I treated school like a vacation. I was like, yeah. He's just going to work for the day. Yeah, literally. <laughs> okay, this next one's from Faith. And she said, when I was a kid, like five or six, I had the biggest crush on the guy with the yellow shirt from the Wiggle sh TV show. <laughs> Every time he would show up, I would kiss the screen, like practically make out with it. And one time I was at my grandma's house watching the show and I kissed him on her TV screen and I got yelled at so bad because I left so many kiss marks and like actual spit on her TV that she never let me watch TV at her house. And she's like, I don't know why I had such an infatuation with a literal four-year-old man as a five-year-old, but that man was super handsome to me. <laughs> the way that you just took it upon yourself to start going to first base with the TV. <laughs> You just decided to do Who's that. The yellow wiggles. I, look I know exactly his big eyebrows. White guy. 
I think he's Australian. Let me look it up. All of them are Australian. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, it is were. the one with the eyebrows. It's so funny, dude. Can you see it? This one right here? Yeah, literally. Oh. This next one's actually from our friend Lexi. Love. And she said, okay, this is super weird, but I used to put like thin, tiny pieces of ice in my eyes and pretend they were contacts. <laughs> She's like, did anyone else do this or am I the only one I've always wondered? <laughs> Lexi. <laughs> I feel like you know the answer to that question. <laughs> Girl, your eyes? You didn't scratch your eyeballs at all? Oh my gosh. How do you even do that? How do you get it to Tiny, six? Tiny, thin pieces of ice. They're sharp. They're hard. How do you make them? S I wonder if your vision's bad now and it's because you were slowly scratching She wears glasses. Yes. <laughs> Lexi, I know you wear glasses. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I hope your eyes are okay. Dude, I don't even know like the physics of how that would work. Like, how do you even do that? <laughs> I just picture them going inside your eyelids and being heavy and hard. You know what I mean? There's no way. There's no way. How do you put them in and they don't fall out? How do you put them in at all? Like, how do you even stick ice to your eyeball? Like... <laughs> Cornea aside, how do you even stick it to your eyeball? You, you know can, what? Show me, show me how to do it. I want to see how you send us a video. <laughs> send me a video. Okay, this next one's from Anna, and she said, "I was on vacation with my parents, and there was an event at the hotel with kids, and there was a musical number. Oh, sorry, there were musical numbers and dances. So my five-year-old dumbass thought it was free real estate. I got up on that small stage and started dancing like crazy. The dancers tried to get me to leave, but I wouldn't budge. And they got to the point where the organizers had to announce on the mic, "Can someone please come get this child? This is an organized play." <laughs> She said, my parents. You know what? <laughs> Wait, just finish it. Finish she it. said, my parents did the walk of shame up there to get me. And my dad asked if the organizers had any holy water to spare because I was acting like a demon. And she said, I also got up on the stage again later and started beef with one of the little girls because she was mad that I was dancing. The most embarrassing part is that my dad filmed some of it and now it's been forever recorded. <laughs> You know what's funny is what's her sign if you were to guess <laughs> a Leo? No, that would make sense though. It's another fire sign. Sagittarius. Yeah, she's impulsive. See? That's funny. <laughs> and when you commit, you do it a hundred percent. Listen, you You're miss gonna hold buddy. Listen, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. But I will say. The fact that your parents were not claiming you for so long that someone had to be like, "Can someone come and fucking get their kid?" This Hello. Is a, this I, is an organized they're play. Like, this is not part of the play. <laughs> like, whose child is this? The fact that your parents let you go off the rails for that long that someone had to be like, all right, this has been fun, but can someone come get this child? <laughs> your dad tries to make a little fucking joke too on the way out. Well, just get her out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you like doubling down and going back again. <laughs> I mean, like they, they didn't get enough the first time. I can tell. I'm here to this, finish. This up crowd show. wants an encore. I can feel it. <laughs> I'm gonna give the people what they want. Listen, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> I'll be back. Don't worry, guys. Come on, <laughs> come on. That is. Were you guys looking at me, guys? Come on, come on. I'm so embarrassed. You know how oh I feel. My gosh, you, you guys. literally know how I feel about dance. Okay, fine. I'll come back. I'll, I'll do another. Do, okay, I'll fine. let them finish and then I'll come back. You guys <laughs> always do this. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my fucking God. That is so funny. Um, that reminds me. I don't know if you could call us kids. We were pretty old. This is about the hoedown thread. Yeah, I would say old enough. Like too old. Old enough to know better, I guess is what I'll say. Yeah, I I, was, I just finished my freshman year of high school. So too old. <laughs> Yeah, that about too does old, it. Too old. So I don't know if I've ever told. I don't remember if I've told this story on um, the podcast. I don't think I have. The, I may have made tried to make a TikTok about it, but never posted it a long time ago. Of the hood on throne. Yeah. We have told this story. On the podcast? Mm -hmm. On which episode? I think the one where we talked about our family and growing up. Oh, maybe. Asian. Okay. Well, I'll give you a, a recap if that's the case. A brief recap. Yeah. Basically, if you're Polynesian, specifically someone, you know this. 
we be having family reunions. We always have them. And when we have them, there's always a talent show. Why? I don't fucking know. Because everyone just sits around and watches and is like, that's so funny. And like has jokes for the rest of the year. We always have talent shows at our family reunions. And every year my family doesn't have a talent to like showcase. (laughs) And this one year we again didn't have a talent. And I remember at the time, the hoedown throwdown had everyone, it. had everyone in yeah. a chokehold, bitch. Like, remember when Miley Cyrus was that video of her and Mandy or whatever teaching you how to do it? On Disney Channel, My yeah. sister and I played that on the family computer for hours yeah. to learn that dance. We were dripping sweat by the end of it. But I remember... That, I was like, that was my TikTok. That was my TikTok dance. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember when they were like, oh, who's gonna... You know what I mean? Would you guys have a talent? If so, who's it going to be? And I remember prior to this family reunion, I was in eighth grade. So I was 13, Mm -hmm. 12, 13. And I remember I was. I'm 15. (laughs) (laughs) That's important to know. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm 15 years old. (laughs) You're 15? And I'm 5'8". <laughs> when I was 13, I was 5'8". <laughs> so I look 17. Yeah. Like, I look like I'm 18. Yeah. Years, 18, 19 years old. Dayson's 15, but she's four <laughs> inches shorter than me at this time. <laughs> and so basically... Before that, when like when my school ended, because this family reunion was during the summer, um, one of the last weeks of school, they had like speakers during lunchtime Mm -hmm. and they were playing music and it was like supposed to be a fun thing. And I remember that they were playing this music and they started playing the hoedown throwdown. And in my middle school, there was like a little quad area with stairs, like a courtyard. And then there was like a stage and they would have assemblies there or something or performances, whatever, sometimes. And I remember like people were going up there and dancing and it's like, you're dancing on a stage in front of the whole school. Yeah. They played that hoedown throwdown. I went out there on that stage by myself and I started lighting it up. I was dancing, bitch. Like Do you I remember was, what you were wearing. Um, yeah, I had like shorts and like a neon shirt on at the time. So, and mind you, I'm five, eight. Okay. So I look like I'm a TA at the school <laughs> the and, I'm, yeah, and I'm doing this. And then I started a frenzy. Like people came up and started trying to do it with me and asking me to teach them. And I thought I was that bitch. Like it, it fanned my ego so heavily. You would have thought that I was Beyonce. And that her. you were Miley Cyrus herself. Yeah. That I was Beyonce at the homecoming tour. Like <laughs> you would have thought that's what it was. Cause that's how it made me feel. That's how we trained. We trained just like she did. To that's, a Coachella. that's I'm having two kids. Yeah. Literally. Dude, that literally was me. I was training. I, I, I swear to God, the feeling I had was what she had. Like to this day, I still think about it sometimes. <laughs> and I remember that, like, euphoric. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the high I'll that, never come like, down. Out of body experience. <laughs> That's why I said the high I'll never come down from. So, yeah. So fast forward to our family reunion. Yeah. Family reunions later, they, they come, They're, you know, you need a talent. Drew, right. You like, like you miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. It's my own family. I know everyone in there, but what if one of them's a talent scout is what I'm thinking, right? So I tell, I turn to Dace. I go, Dace, we should do the hoedown throwdown. Mind you, Dace goes, no, like, I don't think we should do anything. Like, she doesn't want to do that. Yeah. I was like, and I was like, Dace. Because I'm 15. (laughs) And I was like, Dace, they're going to love it. Like I was and my, it's, it's a bunch of old someone people yeah. like my family. It's like all the elders all uncles and grandpas. Yeah. yeah. And every other cousin did like a Polynesian dance. Mm-hmm. Like they're all like or perf- singing. Yeah, yeah. They'd sing or play the guitar, the ukulele, or they would like do hula yeah. or teach not my dumbass. And so I was like, I'm going to put the family name on my back and I'm going to get up there. Like, <laughs> represent us right and i convinced Jason to go up there with me and it's in a like church like uh, a literal mormon church like yeah a church like multi-purpose yeah, the room gym. yeah so we're up there it's like that wood that's on like basketball courts and like a ymca that's yeah. like what the stage is made of that's important to know 
the speaker system was not very good. So just imagine the volumes really low. And then we're doing this dance and we do all like three rounds of it. And all you hear is our feet going like just squeaking. Yeah. Duh, 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 duh. Like, like that. Cause we're and like, how long is that song? Like seven <laughs> minutes long. It feels like we did the whole did your arms. Have <laughs> yeah. And I remember like, as soon as I like did that first like churn, and I realized nobody was reacting. I was like, damn, like we're really locked in for another two minutes. Like this is going to be a long dance. And I remember thinking that like I was and the whole time I was thinking, how come this doesn't feel like how it did when I did it at school? Like, I don't understand. And like all you could hear was our feet slamming on the, <laughs> on the stage. I'm like, that's it. That's Ew. all you could hear. And then everyone. Nobody, when I tell you, listen, people got up to go to the bathroom. When I tell you that people, okay. When people ask, how is it that nothing hurts your feelings? And like, how is it that like, that that's doesn't bother why. you? That's why. Like someone, people like, don't care, dude. Like if you're not good, they're not going to, the way that it was painfully silent, I almost would have preferred being booed because at least that's a reaction. <laughs> and then it would have ended the performance. <laughs> Faster. We did the whole thing, the whole thing, and then no and the whole time I'm going with this. No, <laughs> I'm just awkwardly smiling. Nobody clapped, <laughs> wincing. Nobody cheered us on. Like, not like when I tell you silence, like the way it was so silent. It's honestly, it's so traumatizing to think about. the way it was so quiet, and then we finish and we're sweaty. Out of and breath. breathing hard. And we're like, <sighs> like, and then we just walk off. Like no one even like, I wanted to go and like in the car and never come back inside. <laughs> so embarrassing, dude. The way that I just couldn't believe, like we were for sure some of the youngest kids there too. Yeah. Like we weren't the Other youngest, we were some yeah. of them. Yeah. They couldn't throw, they didn't throw us one fucking bone. No. Not one. They didn't react at all. And I find that appalling. <laughs> and I find it real, if I'm being honest. I think that's the realest thing you could ever do. Dude. To humble them so quickly like that. Oh, dude. It was so bad. It's a core memory in the worst way. <laughs> that bubble is blue and red in my in my brain. <laughs> and green is mixed with disgust. <laughs> Okay, this one's from, hold on, let me find it. This one's from Julia. Mm -hmm. And she said, my mom has a really bad sensitivity to strong smells like perfumes and colognes. Our mom does too. Yeah. And her dad isn't a big fan of them either. So when she was three or five, every time she was mad at them, she would get perfume or cologne and spray like a quarter <laughs> of the bottle all over the room and drench their pillows. And every time she did it, they never said anything about it. Because they were probably afraid of you, if I'm being honest. The way that you're like, you're like being vindictive almost. Like, you know, it like makes them physically ill. And you're like, yeah, think about that the next time you want to be mean take to me. These bitches out. Yeah. I'm going to make them fucking puke. That, and that's what you get. Honestly, I'd lock my door at night if that were, if I was your parents. I would have been afraid of you too. <laughs> this one's from, I think their name is pronounced Maeve. And they said, one time my family went camping at a camp campground and I had just learned how to ride a bike with two wheels. I was probably like seven or eight. I was riding around the campground on my bike by myself and I looked away for one second. And then when I turned around, I literally ran my bike over an old lady walking with a toddler. What? They were both fine, but the baby was crying. Obviously, I just ran them over. But the lady told me it was no problem and that she wasn't upset. However, a ton of people just watched me run over this old lady and toddler and I heard them gasp. So I panicked and rode my bike back to the campsite and literally hid my back, my bike behind the camper and covered it with towels because I didn't want anyone to come and try to find me. <laughs> and these are my very first hit and run. We ran them over. Like while they were on their bike. No, I understand. But like. Were you riding 
a BMX bike? Like what do you, what kind of bike were you riding where it was able to traverse two people? I don't, I think like maybe they ran into them. Oh, like, okay. I, I have been hit like, by a car while on my bike. Like ran them down. Yeah. I like, the, like I was picturing you like going over them. That's why I was <laughs> so like, like ah! yeah, like, yeah, literally like, oh, bumpy road. <laughs> That's nutty. <laughs> my very first hit and run. <laughs> very first. Was there another? That's fucking nuts. <laughs> That's the first time I got hit by a car while on my bike. No, because I really ran into isn't. the car because it it almost hit me, so I slammed in my brakes right before it did. That's really not the same. They're both very traumatizing and tragic in different ways. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> this one's from Aloe. And she said, I would make mud cakes in the backyard and get my brother and cousins to eat them. I never ate them, but I would gaslight my cousins and tell them I had already tried it. Aloe, are you Polynesian? What do you think? Um, what do you think her sun sign is? Manipulative. <laughs> is she a water sign? No. An earth sign? Yes. Is she a Virgo? <laughs> and she said Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> You're probably going to be running the world someday. Yeah, no wonder you were doing that shit. <laughs> Is Aloe Polynesian? Aloe, are you Polynesian? I'm assuming. I don't know. That seems very... Polynesian to trick your cousins. Just the behavior, things. yeah, of like your cousins all being there and then you... <laughs> you literally like... <laughs> gaslighting them into eating that. This one's from Cassidy and she said... Um, I think she also put this on her Instagram... But she said that um, her and her friends, they were the perfect straight A, no fighting kids, but they did the weirdest bad things. They called themselves the light bulb bandits and they would get on their electric moped to deliver newspapers on their block and they would steal one light bulb from everyone's Christmas lights to wreck them for no reason. That seems made up. <laughs> that seems like the storyline and like <laughs> Dennis the Menace. You know what I mean? Like... Doesn't it? That seems not real. If it is real, I'm not gonna lie to you, that's pretty fucked. That's a fucked thing to do. Do you know how frustrating it is when you have lights and only one of them bitches is loose, let alone missing? Also, electric moped? How old were you? Riding an electric moped. Yeah. Dude. Maybe not I'm a moped, a, maybe a scooter. I'm gonna tell this story. One time when, whenever I was with my white friends, I'll say this when I was with, whenever I was with my white friends, I'd get in trouble for something. I remember I was, I was with one of my friends when I was a kid and there was, um, this boy that lived on the other side of her block. I think we were like, we had to have been like 11, 12 okay. around that age. And, uh, she really liked him. Like she thought he was so cute and like on some like little kid shit, like, you know, they would mess with each other. And so every time I went to her house, I'm not exaggerating every single time. And I went a lot. We would have to walk to his house and ding dong dish it every single time. White people shit. Every single time. Truly, yeah. So then I would be like every day, every time bitch, like, She'd be like, okay, well, we'll do that. But before we do that, we have to make sure we go down to so-and-so's house. It was just, a, it was like a, so routine to her. It wasn't even funny. But her and her family got these like electric scooters, right? And I used to think those bitches were so fucking cool. Like we would drive them all over the neighborhood yeah. whenever we went to her house, remember? And I remember when she had first had them, she was like, oh, let's take the the scooter, to um, so-and-so's house and when we go and visit it today like literally it was so normal for her it was always <laughs> on the sketch we go we do it again this time the kid was fucking waiting and he hated it like she never i never saw him i didn't know what he looked like like there was no social media yeah. at the time like i had no semblance of whether or not this kid knew who we were that we did this like i had no idea we go and uh, she goes, I never went and rang it. I'm all, that's all you. I'll be there from wall support, but I'm not approaching the door. She goes, she hits the bell. She turns around, she takes off. As she's coming down the, the walkway, he literally comes out. He has, his whole shirt was full of eggs and he was running towards us. And he was like, stop fucking ringing my doorbell. Stop it. And we were like, 
And then I was actually screaming like in terror. And so I'm like, as soon as I saw him, I turned around and fucking started running to the scooter. I get on the scooter. She jumps on the back. This dude was fucking throwing them like so. And he, he hit the scooter once he beamed the back of her. Like he's like, don't fucking come back here. Don't come back and do that shit anymore. Like he was literally running down the street and like throwing them. My heart was pounding so that fast. That sounds like a scene out of a movie. I swear to God, I never told my parents because I was so convinced I was going to get in trouble for that shit. And she was like, kind of laughing, but you could tell she was like terrified. <laughs> and then we drove back. And like, is it not the most like white friend shit to be like, all right, what do you want to do now? And I was like, are we not going to fucking talk about Girl, what just happened? I don't know. Go home. Yeah. When we got back, I go, what the fuck was that? She goes, yeah. She goes, what do you mean? I'm all, what? Why does he do that? Like, does he not like when we do that? Like, I thought it was like a rapport they had. Yeah, turns out like it was a joke. Yeah. Turns out it was just her harassing him nonstop for like a month. And then she goes, yeah, his mom came and said, like, please tell, you know, so and so to stop bringing our doorbell. It's very irritating. Like, <laughs> and this bitch just wasn't listening. And I was a fucking accomplice. <laughs> and I thought I was going to get in trouble, too. So I never told anybody at the time. I was like, I went home and I was like, and I remember mommy was like, hey, what'd you guys do today? And I was like, mm, nothing, just hung out. Because <laughs> I thought I was going to fucking jail because that dude threw an egg at my friend's head. So interesting, the police just called. <laughs> Sounds like... There's a like... drive-by fruity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone wants to sell me something. <laughs> I told you he was on to us. Literally. So I feel that. But that was like bad kid shit that I was just like wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. But I didn't do anything and I didn't want to do that. So do you remember um, when ding dong dead became a thing in high school? Like early, early in my high school career. No. Yeah. It's ding dong ditch. But instead of like ditching, you lay down on the front lawn and pretend like you're dead. Oh, and the last person to leave wins. Oh, no, but I did um, do a sleepover with, like, friends from my club volleyball team in high school. Yeah, I remember that. And they were, like, and all my friends were from a different city than where we were having our sleepover. Yeah. And so they were, like, do you guys know anyone that lives around here? Because me and my friend, we went to the same high school. I'm, like, oh, yeah, so-and-so lives near us. Yeah. And then they're, like, let's go TP your house. And I'm, like, okay. And then we went and did it. And I felt so bad. <laughs> And then to make the story worse, that was when I was on Accutane. So then I would get really bad nosebleeds, if you know, you know. And so I went to bed and I woke up because I had a nosebleed. And my friends were trying to mess with me because they were, like, trying to see who could stay up the latest. And then I told my friend, get the fuck out of my face. I have a nosebleed. And then I went in the bathroom and I cried. <laughs> the way that that had nothing to do. With what you were just talking about. You were talking about ding-dong ditching, so I thought of TP. No, not that story. The <laughs> part about your Accutane and the no <laughs> No, I was saying that's just the universe humbling me for TPing my friend's house. I was saying, well, you're like, well, no, you're talking about ding-dong ditching. Like, that's not the point I was referencing. Because it's important. That was also the first time I played Never Have I Ever, and I was such a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you know, in high school, so everyone's like, never have I ever been buzzed. That was mine. And all my friends are like, oh, me. Okay, so I was like, I like, they're like, never have I ever traveled out of the state. I was like, oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, never have I ever had coffee. Yeah. Like, those were like the safe no, table. Yeah, and all my friends were like getting drunk and hooking up with Same, boys. same. I didn't, I wasn't that girl either, but I was, I, I did. <laughs> I'm trying to think of more. I, I feel like, we like you and I genuinely don't have nearly as many like TP stories as like other people do. Sure. We never really did that. Um, like that was never our choice. If I was ever involved in that, it was me at someone else's house and them saying we should do this. Yeah, me too. That was never. And they were thing. always. white. Yeah. I, I'm trying to think. I, I, I don't think I have many other than like that ding dong ditch story and it traumatized me. Mm -mm. The way he beamed Wait, my friend's no, head. when you were texting my friend. Oh yeah, but I feel like I've told that story before. Probably, yeah. Yeah, basically like I was trying to hook up 
It was the same friend. <laughs> the same friend, her sister. I was trying to hook her up with someone that I went to school with, but he was Dason's friend. He knew who I was, but I wouldn't say that we were friends. And I remember he was like a hottie at the time. And I was just like, yeah, like I, you know, you should date my friend. And he had a girlfriend at the time. And it was just like a whole bunch of drama, but we were like prank calling him. That was like a big thing. Yeah. Like star 67, you know what I mean? We calling people. So much. Yeah. Calling boys. No, like I think, I think it was like, it was just like the only thing that didn't feel real enough to me for me to be afraid. Sure. I think was why. Cause like anything physical, I was like, no, immediately no. Even when I was in college, I didn't like to do shit that could potentially put me no, at risk. Yeah. Like, so yeah, I was, I was just like stirring the pot essentially. I don't know why I just didn't think it was a big deal that he had the girlfriend. I think it's cause I didn't think they were serious. I don't know. I was just, I, I wasn't even for me. That's the gag. Like it wasn't <laughs> even for me. It was for my, I was like a messenger really. Yeah. And then I remember she got so sick of us calling him his girlfriend that she called back. And then she was like, I'm going to beat you up. That's what she said. And then, then I got afraid but not because of her. I got afraid that I would, my mom would find out and I would get trouble, mm -hmm. which I did. So there you go. <laughs> Justice always wins in the end. Okay. And then we'll end on this one. This is from Hannah. And she said, I used to be really boy crazy. Ick. And so did I. Yeah. And I remember writing my crush's name literally everywhere, every day in notebooks, address books, yearbooks. And I would put a big heart around his face in every picture I could find in our yearbooks too. I did that until I left that school in the fourth grade. And to that, I say, Hannah, in my did first- Did you write that? <laughs> Jason did that shit all the time. In my first year, like I got in kindergarten, I wrote, I drew a heart around every boy's picture that I thought was cute. No one told me to do that, but I did that. Yeah. And my uncle, my godfather, he found me doing that and he got so mad. He's like, you're literally ruining it. Yeah. That he went and bought me another one and made me throw that one away. And I was so embarrassed. I don't remember was, that. It was literally like every boy in my class I had a crush on. Which means none of them. <laughs> Not me. And I did that a lot. It was kind of out of hand. I do remember when I was in kindergarten. Was it kindergarten? It was either kindergarten or first grade. But essentially, I really, I thought this one boy was super cute in my class. And I used to like talk about him or like tell my mom that I thought he was cute. Mm -hmm. And then I remember that one day he told me. Honestly, add this to my villain origin story, bro. But he uh, told me he liked me. And then I was like, oh, hell yeah. Right. Like, nice. And then my best friend at the time, she told me later on in the day that she's like, oh, guess what? So and so told me he liked me. And I was like, what? So then I went and confronted the bitch and I was like, explain this to me. Yeah. And he was like, why well, like both of you? And then I was like, you can't like two people. You got to pick one. Like immediately. <laughs> I was like, you have to pick somebody. <laughs> Pick a side now. <laughs> and then he was like, well, I really like you, but I like that the other girl, he's like, I like that she's not taller than me because I was taller than everybody when Oof. I was in first grade. And then I and then I go, well, you guess what? I don't like you anymore. Immediately, I was like, I never liked you. I started fucking lying. I was like, I never liked you. You're a fool. You thought I liked you. Why? Because I said that. Well, guess what? I don't. Like, I literally said this whole spiel to him. And he was like, you're so mean. And I was like, yeah, at least I don't like two people at once. Right. And then I left. And then I remember being so disappointed and sad. And my mom was like, my mom was telling me, she goes, you're going to love how tall you are one day. I was like, yeah, whatever. I don't care about him. Like, I was telling my mom, I don't care about him. And then I was like, <laughs> Every shithead dude's going to be like, that's why she acts the way yeah, she does. Yeah, I was so. just going to say that. No way. You think I let that man, you think I let that fucking piece of shit see a grown man cry? No way. I was laughing and pretending like, guess what? I never liked you. I was like laughing and joking about it, but it, I was like, I'm not letting him see me be uh, upset. No, the boy I had a crush on said he would like me if I didn't have that thing on my eye. And the thing on my eye was eczema. my eczema. You got eczema. You know, it's so funny too. that guy just to round out the story for you. When I was a senior in high school, that guy hit me up on Facebook and was the telling guy you were talking about. Not me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, clarify the story. <laughs> the guy, he not that guy, a different guy I went to prom with did hit up my <laughs> He hit me up on Facebook and then he, he was talking to me and like had every intention of, um, like 
cheating on his girlfriend with me. He had a very serious girlfriend. And he was like, Yeesh. if I had known how good looking you were going to turn out, blah, blah, blah. And I was all. What part of that story was supposed to make me want to be with you? I'm like, yeah. Did you remember that when you told me that I was too tall for you? Because I still am. Because I still am. <laughs> <laughs> Blocked. All right, friends, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for listening all the way to the very end. You can listen to the audio versions everywhere that they show podcasts, and you can watch the video version on our YouTube channel. Um, please keep sending in your things you did that were bad as a kid because they're really funny, and we'll probably do at least one more episode on this. But other than that, we hope you have a great week. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.